What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, really quickly, if you guys haven't checked out our previous videos, they're linked somewhere over here, so go check them out. Like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Send it to a friend if you, you know, if you really like it. We'd appreciate the help. Now that I've plugged in our channel, um, I want to introduce a very special guest today. Someone who I've known for a while, right? Man, it's been. What are we going on? Seven years? How almost many? seven years. Almost seven years. Almost seven. I've known you for almost, yeah. Since uh, since freshman year. Freshman year. Freshman year math. <laughs> math. Calculus. <laughs> and at the time, I didn't know who you were. Oh, my All right. gosh. Before we dive deep into it, let me introduce my guest. My guest is uh, a fellow medical student, one of my old friends, and uh, a legend. His name is Chinadu Oranasi. Welcome, Chin. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How's it going? It's good, man. It's good. It's good. You know, I have no complaints. That's good. That's good. Yeah. None at all? No, no, how's third really. year treating you? Third year, third year's been pretty good to me. Yeah. You know? um, all my rotations have been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. What are you yeah. doing right now? What are you in? Right now, I'm doing nephrology. Nephrology. Oh, yeah. so that's the for those of you who don't know nephrology is the study of kidneys. So, <laughs> do you want to go into nephrology? Don't want to go into nephrology. I, I still don't know yet. No, yeah, no idea. <laughs> well, a little bit more experience. I've only been there for a week right now. Yeah, but that's I true. Mean, it, it's been it's been good so far. It's been good. Well, that's good. So third year is going pretty well. You don't seem too stressed out, in my opinion. I mean, I, w I won't say that I'm not like stressed, right? <laughs> but it's a constant level, right? <laughs> it's a constant level of stress. I feel like once you enter med school, one of my friends said this. I can't remember who yeah. exactly, but once you enter medical school, you're under a constant level of stress, and you either, you know, learn to acclimate to it, yeah, or you don't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So that's true. either you keep up, mm -hmm. or you know, you struggle and then you go exactly. Up behind. So I mean, but. Uh, you know, it's stressful, but it's relative stress right now. But you've adjusted. Yeah, I feel you've like adjusted. I've adjusted, at least right now. I mean, there's, there's still more things I can do, still yeah. more things I can change. But as of right now, you know, still in the beginning, yeah. it's, it's manageable. So, so since we're talking about med school, yeah. um, can you tell us a little bit about how you got accepted into med school? Because I think this is a very, very so, interesting journey. So I just figured out that... I was going to take a year off, yeah, <laughs> which yeah. I hadn't planned out at all. So yeah. I have to figure out what am I going to do in this year off, and also I needed to start studying for the MCAT. Yeah. So basically, I'm studying, trying to come up with ideas for what I'm going to do in the year off, uh, and then all of a sudden I get an email yeah. saying that oh, our school released this program where you can get into their school of medicine without taking the MCAT. So yeah. I look at this email and I'm just like, okay, someone must have made a typo. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't real, right? So I just ignore it. <laughs> yeah. I remember when we got that email. I, I looked at it and I was like, this changes everything. <laughs> and I had taken the MCAT. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looked at that same email and I immediately disregarded it. I was like, no. Yeah, no. I know. Because it was going to involve more work and everything. I was like, no, yeah. I, can't, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. There's no way it's happening. Yeah. So I completely ignore it. I get another email. Except for from one of the deans of the uh, School of Medicine. Yeah. And he says pretty much, oh, in case anyone's wondering, this program is real. It's not a joke. Yeah, this isn't he, a... He was like, yeah. it's, it's not a joke. He basically gave it his official cosign. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I was like, should I apply? Should I apply? Um, so remember, like, I just found out. That I was gonna take a year off. Like, yeah. I wasn't even thinking about applying then. I was planning to apply a year later. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, like, dude, I'm not ready. Like, yeah. I haven't done this, that, that, that. And I'm just yeah. like making up a list of all these excuses, like, in my mind, like, reasons I can't do it. Yeah. I was, I was so scared. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I went to the information sessions, of course. I'm looking around. I'm like, oh man, this guy's head of that program. Yeah. He's ahead of this. His GPA is probably this. Yeah. He probably has that goal for him. I was like, dude, I'm just going to be wasting Like our time. peers. We're looking yeah. and we don't, we're I, like I didn't peers. feel like I, we we're would like get it. Yeah. So it's not even, it's just, I feel like if you're pre-med, you're going to like, obviously run into other people that are pre-med. Yeah. And you course. will think that, oh man, they have more things that I yeah. do have. Like yeah. they're doing more than I'm doing. You compare yourselves. Yeah. You're in some of the same volunteer programs as they are and yeah. they might have a higher position than you are. So yeah. you might think think that that's going to equate to them having a better chance of getting accepted than you will. Yeah. So, which, which is exactly what I thought. Yeah, which really isn't the case, though. It's not the case. It, yeah. It's not the case, but, like, did I know that? No, at the time. <laughs> at the time, no at the time, yeah. I didn't know that at, at all, so I was so scared. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm just, I kept coming up with excuses, and then, I don't know, it helped that two of my other friends also were considering applying for it. Yeah. So, well, 
you. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, the floor, yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm not a one of his other of friends, <laughs> but you know, but I was applying for it. <laughs> a few of my friends thought yeah, about yeah. applying for it. Let yeah. me rephrase that. Getting, for me, like, getting to the process of actually applying, like, I kept trying to come up with excuses. I'm like, yeah. okay, you know what? Um, let me try getting letters of recommendation. Yeah. See if I can get that down. Yeah. So if I can't get letters of recommendation, I'm not going to apply. Although, it's pretty crazy. We, I remember that whole cycle. It wasn't with the normal... Amcast like no, medical school cycle. No. It was early and it was condensed. That's had, a, no, that's a really important point. How much time do you think we had? We had maybe like two months, three months. Yeah. So the application came out in March. It yeah. was June, April, and then yeah. told us we'd find out if we got an interview in May. Uh, so because the whole process, because it's right before the Amcast yes. starts. I remember that. So right before regular yeah. cycle starts. Yeah. Regular cycle starts in June. <laughs> yeah. So the whole process from applying to getting accepted took three months. Yeah. Yeah, so that's ridiculous. Like very condensed. It's really condensed. So you, we, condensed. We, I remember we had to get our letters in order. Mm -hmm. We had to get our transcripts. Yep. Our personal statements. Mm -hmm. Our application. Appli <laughs> oh, the whole application. Even the essays. Just filling out information took so long. It, the reason is because it was a primary and the secondary application. Yeah. Put together. At once. It wasn't so usually when you apply to med school, you do a primary application when you send it out. Uh, a school will review it and then they'll send you their very specific questions. The primary is a general you know, application, yeah. the secondary is more specified. Our school sent us the primary <laughs> and the secondary all at once. So we had not just one application, we had two major applications yeah, to do worth of questions. During the school year when we were taking classes. And we are taking classes. And so doing our extracurricular work. It's not like we stopped, you know, whatever. Oh my doing. gosh, it was one of the most stressful times, but... Like I said, I just kept trying to come up with excuses. So first I'm thinking, okay, if I can't get any letters of recommendation, I won't apply. Yeah. Um, I hit up people for letters of recommendation and they said yes. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Check. <laughs> Check. <laughs> All right. So I was like, I can't use that excuse anymore. Um, then my next thought was like, okay, maybe I don't have enough things. Yeah. And I'm writing down every single thing I think is like important enough yeah. to add. And I'm like, okay, actually, you know what? I have enough things. You have a lot. Yeah, we do yeah, a lot. I'm like, okay, yeah. I have enough things. Then I'm thinking, yeah. I was like, okay, do I really want to do this? So I'm like, oh, I can wait later. You know, I could take the MCAT, I could do all this stuff. And then, like, I thought about, like, you know, who's this going to help? Obviously me. <laughs> 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 so I so I don't have to take the MCAT, yeah. yeah. But um, also yeah. my parents. Yeah. Yeah, my parents that basically really wanted me to go to medical school were willing to pay for these MCAT courses. Were, courses. Which were going to be willing yeah. to pay for, like, me flying out to all these places doing like whatever I needed to do to, to make get it. There, yeah. So I was like, they would sacrifice whatever they needed to sacrifice to make sure that I succeeded in life. So I was yeah. like, if this is one thing that I have to sacrifice my time, my energy for, it was like, just so I can help myself at the end, yeah. I was like, why not do it? So you go through that whole thing. Mm -hmm. You decide, you know what? Screw it. I'm ready. I'm yeah. diving in. It's going to help me. It's going to help you know, everyone yeah. who's helping me. It's going to make their lives easier. So you send in the application. Yeah. Right? You got all your stuff together. You didn't need to take the MCAT. Screw you, by the way. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had to suffer. No, but, but you got everything together. You send it in. Then what happens? So I do all of that stuff. A month goes by and... I get an email and it's like, you've gotten an interview. Yeah. So. <laughs> you get the email. I get an email. Rashid got the email. <laughs> Michael got the email. Yeah. This is the funny part. So the, there's four of us. We all apply. And me and Rashid were taking an English class together that day. Where I get to class in the morning, 8 a.m. class. Rashid's sitting there with a, with a happy smile on his face. I get in and I've already gotten there. You know, disclaimer, I got the... you. You know, thank you for applying. You're, we don't want you. So, oh <laughs> but in very polite terms, really politely. Uh, so I'm like, okay, bummer, you know, boohoo. Uh, and then I go, she's like, did you get it? And I'm like, no, I didn't get it. And he, this is the part that really hurt. And I'll say this now. He, you know, he had his intentions were really good. And he's like, nah, you're joking. <laughs> and I was like, I wish I was. <laughs> and then. I remember we. I had to see you and Michael in uh, virology. Oh, yeah. like later that same day, and they did the same thing. They're like, "Did you get into? Did you get the interview?" I'm like, "No." They're like, "You're joking, Farhan." I was like, "Nope." 
Oh, oh my man. gosh. So, <laughs> so, but you got, you know, you got that. I was so happy, you know. Like, I, it hurt me because I was like, yeah, oh, man. Of course, of course. You know, but I was happy that you guys got mm. it. So then you got the interview. Uh, and then you prepped for the interview, am I correct? Oh my gosh, prepped so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like, okay, you know, I've gotten this far now. Yeah. It was like, I've gotten the interview. I am halfway there. Yeah, yeah. No, more than half. Yeah, more yeah. than halfway. Actually. More than half. Yeah. Some things, because pretty much we skipped the primary, secondary. That's all done all at once. So we jump straight to the interview process. Yeah. I'm thinking like, you know, I think we, so once we found out, they, I think we had three weeks to prep, yeah. Three yeah, weeks yeah. to prep. So I'm yeah. like, what can I do in this three weeks? Prepped every single day. Yeah. <laughs> when the interview time came, how'd that go? Obviously, so. well, well, I just <laughs> you know, I don't want to ruin it, but <laughs> short story. Short story. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. So when uh, I feel like we had prepped so much, we had gone over our application so much. When the interview day actually came, we just felt calm. That's good. Very calm. Yeah. Very relaxed. I mean. It was everything that we had prepped for. And then, you know, just disclaimer, depending on the style of the interviews, like, you can prep for it, but in general, like, you have no idea what they're going to ask you. One of the biggest hurdles to get over uh, throughout this whole process for me was basically telling people why I was going to help them. Yeah. Like, telling the school why they needed me. Yeah. As a and not the other way around. Exactly. Not yeah. the other way around. Yeah. yeah. Um, basically explaining to them why they should take me. Yeah. So I thought once we had gotten that down, the interview was just like second nature. It's just a discussion. Yeah, it's just a discussion. It's just a discussion. So then you did the interview and uh, then what after the interview? So I remember I did the interview and they told us, it was like, yeah, you know, it could take a week to two weeks. Yeah. Um, so did an interview on Saturday. Tuesday rolls around and I remember I'm at work in the tutoring center on campus. Yeah. And I'm in my boss's office. And Rashid burst into the office. He's like, oh, says excuse me to my boss. And he's like, check your email right now. And you know Rashid, when <laughs> yeah, he's really yeah. excited, he's like almost like jumping up yeah. and down with energy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, th this is it. This yeah. is it. So I don't even bother asking, like, did you get in? Like, I can tell. You knew he got in. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, okay, let me check my email. I'll bring out my phone. Checking my email, I'm like, okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And I click on the email, and it says the first thing, congratulations. So you know when you're reading like emails when you apply yeah. college, you apply all these things. You, you want to look at the first line. So yeah. sometimes it says we regret to inform you or all this stuff. But usually if it says congratulations, like it's good. you're good to go. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw congratulations. I was like, I did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then I finished reading the email. I was like, congratulations. We're happy to. Yeah. Did you quit from like, right then and there you? and leave your boss? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> it's like congratulations. We are happy to offer you a position in the school of medicine. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And it says like just email back. First thing I do is reply back. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'll. Of course I'll come in. This is everything I wanted. Yeah. Uh, next day I tell my boss who yeah. wrote one of my letters of recommendation. Bless her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I tell her. And then my next thing, I was supposed to meet with a student afterwards. It was really hard to do. I, I spent the rest of the day I, like calling yeah. my family members, telling them, you know, like, hey, yeah. I got accepted. Um, oh, some background. I never told my dad that I applied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Why yeah. not? So, Just to spare him no because so my dad's a doctor <laughs> yeah so i i didn't want him to you know be saying like do this do that do that and then also i i didn't want them getting like worked up here yeah mom, yeah like getting worked up you know if yeah. i'm going through the whole process and like let's say that i didn't get it yeah because like i said i wasn't 100 percent confident yeah I wasn't, I wasn't confident even to apply <laughs> yeah so even when i got the interview i was like we still don't know so yeah. i didn't want to tell them to get their hopes up so yeah. i was like you know if it happens great i'll tell them if it doesn't happen yeah. No one, yeah. no one's wiser, or none the wiser. Yeah. yeah, they're very, very happy when they found yeah. that guy. And I told them, yeah. people, anyone who helped me in any shape or form, every single person that helped yeah. me, I sent them a text, yeah. made sure I informed them, your time was not wasted. And yeah. definitely, like the people that help you are going to be happy yeah, to know course. that because you, your success is 
in a way also their success. Yeah, because so, they put their effort and exactly. time into you know they play the part, idiots so. like us, and then you know then we're gonna put our time and effort in idiots like you guys. <laughs> But you get my point. Like they actually yeah. put in time and support into us, allowing us to succeed exactly. and be where we are today. Um, so, you know, this isn't like the only type of program for medical no, school, right? No. There's it's several others. We were just kind of in the front lines of it yeah. when it started, but you know, it's an established program, and there are other medical schools that have an early acceptance. Yeah, and I think for a lot of those, I don't know if uh, the MCAT. I think for a lot of places, MCAT is needed for those so, programs. There's some schools that. Actually, it's, that's more of like a European thing, though. Yeah. Because like some schools, like you come straight in from high school. Yeah. So it's like kind of like a college yeah. joint medical school yeah. thing. The East Coast has a lot. Oh, and East the Coast East Coast has, has a yeah. lot of those programs. But as far as, you know, undergrad, no MCAT, I don't know how many of those there are, but there are definitely early yeah. acceptance. There's, there's other yeah. programs. But for those, you have to apply in the MCAT cycle, mm -hmm. and that's only one school you can apply to. Exactly. If you apply to any other schools, you won't you jeopardize the ex early acceptance like exactly. you won't get in um so do you have any words of advice or um you know geniusness to give to our lovely viewers i i don't know about geniusness but i guess what i'll say is if you get an opportunity for a program like this or even just applying in general and you have a bunch of people telling you don't do it or if you honestly just aren't confident in yourself take some time list out all the reasons you should apply list out all the reasons that you shouldn't apply and if the pros outweigh the cons consider doing it yeah yeah because it's like a personal decision at yeah. the end of the day you know and i think if people tell you don't do it don't just take their mm -hmm. words for it you need exactly. to decide on your own because I remember, and this comes back over and over again, a lot of people told us, you're not going to get in. No, yeah, definitely. So don't listen to that. There's but people just, that say it all the time. Exactly. Believe in yourself mm -hmm. and trust yourself. Well, on that note, I think we've uh, hit our time. I appreciate the love and the support you've given me well, the pleasure. on our channel. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are more interested in, you know, um, getting into medical school without an MCAT, go check out Rashid's video. It's somewhere here. There is a link and that's going to pop up. So click the link. It's, the link is also in the description below. And tune back next week for my personal story of how I got from high school to medical school on this channel. Thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys back in a week. Peace. Thank you.